Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowacki and today I'm going to use Delphi XC for building a simple calculator service using DataSnap technology. I'm going to first start from building a DataSnap server. File new other in, in the new items category in the DataSnap server category we have a DataSnap server wizard that will create a standalone uh, application for us. We are going to keep a VCL forms application as a project type we are going to keep TCP IP as a communication protocol and we are going, not going to have a sample methods generated by the wizard. We are going to use a default port 211, it's always a good idea to test if it's open. And we are going to keep a T component as our server methods ancestor class. Ok, our server uh, is now ready. I'm going to uh, save it, so I'm going to save it in a special place, we have this data snap labs simple calc folder already ready. This my unit 2 is my form server unit. There are also other units generated by the wizard. I'm going to keep these names uh, default and the name of the project will be simple calc server. Okay, our server is now uh, almost ready. We only need to provide implementation for the server methods. Here we need to uh, implement functionality that client will be able to call. Any methods that are defined here so will be uh, available automatically uh, to any client. I'm going to uh, multiply this code so I can just very quickly uh, change the names of the methods. So I have add, sub, d, maybe mult and div. Now using shift control c I'm doing a class completion and providing implementation of these methods. So I'm going to the a plus b okay in a divide I see that there is a problem in this name I'm going to change it in a moment and here in the result multiply we're going to do this like this and subtract we have a this. So this has to be changed div and this is going to be div here as well. So in this very moment the implementation of our uh, class is already done. Oh, div is a keyword so we cannot uh, use div as a keyword so we are going to have this uh, divide. Okay so now the functionality of our server is implemented. I'm going to run this application without debugging because it has to be running in order to be able to develop a client. I'm going to run without debugging and I'm going to uh, minimize the server so it can be uh, accessed by the client during the development and runtime. To the project group I'm going to add a new project. Uh, this is going to be just a standalone VCL uh, forms application. I'm going uh, to save this uh, application in exactly the uh, same uh, place. So my unit 3 is going to be my form client unit. I'm going to click on save the name of the project will be simple calc client simple calc but client okay and the name of the project group uh, just simple calc group okay so that's our client I'm going to uh, build a very quickly a little uh, GUI so I'm going to press F6 uh, to bring uh, the ID insight uh, to add some uh, functionality. I will have this uh, button uh, one called button add. I'm going to add, uh, actually I'm going to copy this and have four of these buttons here so I can just uh, change uh, their names uh, very easy. Okay, so button add will have the, the a caption uh, just uh, plus a uh, button second will be called will have a caption minus and the name uh, button sub the third one uh, will have a name a uh, button mult for multiplication and also the multiplication sign and the last one will be button div so this button div will have a, just a sign like this. Okay, so this, uh, we need also two edits for entering uh, values. So I'm going to minimize this guy a little bit, uh, put it here. 
so this is going to be my uh, edit uh, a for uh, parameter a and I'm going to provide some test value so I don't have to think about it later now I can just copy this edit and put it here so it's going to look a little bit like a, a calculator this time this edit is going to be called edit B and the value let it be 2 now to make sure that it looks nice I'm going to add uh, two T label components uh, one for just uh, equal sign so I'm going to just add an equal sign here very easily and also uh, another uh, label F6 again T label for the result itself so this label is going to be called uh, label uh, result okay so uh, now I'm uh, re ready uh, to implement uh, functionality so I double click on a uh, on a button add uh, but how do I access uh, my remote server before I can access the remote server uh, I need to add some uh, units to my client project I'm going to, to use a wizard in the file new other I'm going to find a, a data snap server and the client uh, module data snap client module is going to be a connectivity to local server uh, this is data snap standalone server uh, using TCP IP protocol uh, using port 211 I can connect at run at design time so that's very good and now the wizard generates for me uh, two uh, new units there is a client module unit that contains a SQL connection uh, component and also uh, the client classes unit uh, that provides a functionality that I'm going to uh, call in order to uh, call my remote uh, service okay I'm going to save so I'm going to save both new uh, files uh, added uh, to my project okay in order to be able to call uh, these methods I need to actually use the client module uh, so there is a global variable called client client module one and it has a property called uh, server methods client and this property uh, has a um, is of type T server methods client so I can just call these methods so in my form client unit in order to uh, to call uh, anything I can just uh, first I need to use uh, this unit so I'm going to use both of these units in my uh, client unit and now I can just uh, do client uh, module uh, one dot uh, server methods client me uh, server methods one client dot and I now have access to all the uh, methods so I'm going to call add so I need to specify a and B so and also the store somewhere the result so I need to uh, I need to uh, declare uh, three variables here uh, a B and C of type uh, double so a will be a, a string to float string to float uh, edit a dot text same thing for B so I'm going to copy this code here and change a to B and like this and now I'm going to use my uh, a label label result caption property uh, and convert back from float uh, to string uh, the value C so that's implementation of my add uh, I can actually go ahead and uh, implement uh, all uh, other uh, buttons uh, very similarly uh, so just uh, copying some of the code and changing just the name of the uh, method I'm going to use so here in the divide uh, I'm going to uh, call the uh, divide uh, here in my multiply I just going to call multiply and here in my subtract I'm going to uh, just call subtract so subtract so now I should be ready uh, to test my uh, client so if I click on plus I get 7 minus 3 so it looks like my client is able to uh, connect to the uh, data snap server that provides a uh, simple service uh, functionality thank you for watching Delphi Labs